Hey guys, so I would thought I would do a chit chat slash eat with me kind of video. Um, basically, I'm on my lunch hour, so you are joining me on my lunch, so yay! Um, this is my car. Welcome to my car. Oh, you guys want to see my new purse too? Well, it's not really new new, but it's like, this is my coach purse. It's like, kind of like that. So I don't mind it. I got a good deal on that one. I think it was like 60% off, so it was like 120. So I love huge bags like that, so yeah. And there I got a strawberry banana smoothie, which, oh my god, these things are not very good. <laughs> like I've had way better smoothies everywhere else but this place. And I watched them make it so I know exactly what's in it and it's nothing special. Like you could literally make these at home. So very disappointed and it was like 20 bucks for what I got which is like a sandwich and a smoothie. Like come on. And to make matters worse I found a hair in my freaking sandwich which is okay. Like I'm not that big of a deal about it but still like come on like downfall on pita pit so not too bad i got a chicken caesar wrap which i thought was the safest i never know what to order there like i'm so confused because like literally whatever you say it's different like the only thing that matters is really like the meat and stuff by the way when i was getting this pita, pita pit stuff or <laughs> whatever it's called there was literally like i was parked in the parking lot and i was waiting to leave and this lady backs up behind me and it sounds like a truck it's like me 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 you know like the sound that a truck makes when it backs up and all of a sudden you see this lady behind me in a van like backing up and i'm like huh? she must be deaf because why else would you have a beep 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 thing when you back up like that's just kind of ridiculous Unless maybe you have lots of little kids in your area. I don't know. It was really strange though. By the way, guys, I have like nothing against Pita Pit. I've just only been there twice, so my experiences haven't been that great. Um. Maybe it's just because the one around me sucks, like, I don't know, but it's literally like right across the street from my work, so why not? So the shoes that I got from Forever 21, you remember the wedges that I showed you guys? Well, they didn't fit me that great that I felt comfortable walking in them, so I went to the store and returned them. I ordered them online, right? So I'm like, to ship them back wasn't really worth it, so... I went into the store and returned them, well exchanged them because you can't really return stuff there. And they they like checked it, like inspected it like so closely, they're like, because I put all the packaging in because I literally didn't even wear them, like I wore them for two seconds. And I put all the packaging in and stuff and they, the girl's like, make sure you check the bottom because they might be worn and I was like, okay man, this chick is harsh because I was a little scared because I did cut off the tag but then I put it back on so it looked like it wasn't but I was really scared she wasn't gonna give me my money back for it so but they ended up exchanging it so all was good so I got a store credit wait so like I go to forever 21 like the same one that I returned my shoes at like three weeks later and then I see my shoes on the freaking rag priced just as they are like exactly how I returned them with a full price tag on it not even like 25% off or anything like that and I thought that was crazy. Well, that was super awkward. There was a guy that was parked beside me, literally pushing his cart all the way towards me. And I'm just like sitting in my car talking to myself and you guys. And he's looking at me like, what is this girl doing? She's just eating and chilling and talking to herself. Yep, no. Old man, I'm not crazy. I'm just talking to my friends on the internet. That's crazy as that sounds. Okay, so anyways, back to my Forever 21 story. So I go back there a couple weeks ago and I see my shoes exactly how they were, how I returned them with the price tag exactly how I put it on. They didn't even try and reattach it or anything and no discount stickers or anything. And I was like, wow, they just literally take stuff that people don't want and put it, throw it back on their shelves and sell it as brand new.
right? But like I've been in retail a lot and you don't do that. If something comes from a customer's home return, you have to discount it. And that makes me really mad because I love Forever 21 and I love shopping there, but if they're gonna sell used merchandise, which half their shoes looked used, like they don't look clean at all. Like I couldn't believe the standard of the stuff that you order online versus the stuff you get in the store. Like the stuff in the store looks really sh like people have been wearing it for like almost a week and return. I, by the way, guys, don't mind like my my bags under my eyes. I literally got probably 20 minutes of sleep last night. I was laying in bed and I roll over to get my phone charger and I see this huge ass spider. Like he was like literally this big, guys, like this big. And he's black and hairy. Like he looks like a wolf spider or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I don't know my spiders at all. No, like why would I? Um, but yeah, he was just like in the corner. I'm like, oh no. So I shine my flashlight on him. I'm like, I wonder if I can get him. Or like if I shine the flashlight, he'll go away. You know, like just poof, go away. Like something so like that. So I get brave and I go get him a fly spotter to, sw to like kill him. And he's edged between my bed. So I go back. And I try and swat him, and I miss. And he crawls like, like he's so fast, like he literally like sped away. I'm like, no, okay, so he's hiding under my bed, and there's tons of shit on my bed. So like the chances of me getting him were slim to none. So I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll just sleep with the lights on, and like, I'll just do that. So, yeah, so I just sleep with my lights on and hope the hell that he doesn't drop on me or come up and get me or something so then i fall asleep for a bit and it's hot in my house because like my parents don't put on there and like i'm sweating and i wake up in this cold sweat and all of a sudden i see on my ceiling i have like a potted or not a potted ceiling what the hell do you call that um i have pot lights in my ceiling okay so he's I can see him, this huge ass black thing in the side of my pot light. And I was like, me. And this pot light is like just over my bed, like at the end of my bed. So I keep the lights on because I turn on the pot light. So I, th I thought like if it gets hot enough, he wouldn't like stand it. He'd drop and then I could get him. So I was waiting for him to drop. 20 minutes go by and he literally cl slowly climbs up into the light. So he is now behind the light up in my ceiling or attic or whatever so like great so I just kept the lights on all day all all night so if the spider came back he would like get burnt because it'd be so hot right so I slept with the lights on which did not work I slept 100 million degree weather which does not work so therefore I have bags under my eyes and like 20 minutes of sleep I got last night and I'm still working and I'm still functioning and I don't know how, but you know, all the power to you. But that was my crazy spider story. <sighs> and it, just that day I was literally like, oh yeah, I never killed spiders. I haven't killed spiders at all. I only killed two and they were downstairs, none downstairs. And I'm so happy and then, but anyways, I'm gonna have to go because my lunch break is almost over. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this kind of chit chat random lunch hour special with me. I enjoyed talking to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me <laughs> or something. I'm gonna enjoy what's rest, what's left of this nasty kind of smoothie. Okay, bye guys.